Namaskar. Welcome everyone. I am Ravi Gupta and I welcome you all at this uh, very, very interesting and exciting event, which is about the uh, future of smart campus, role of smart and digital classroom. This event is being organized by ALETS in collaboration with uh, Dell and Microsoft. And uh, we have an eminent list of speakers of today who will deliberate on the usage of IT in the classrooms, and especially in this uh, pandemic era, where uh, the usage of IT has uh, dramatically increased inside the classroom and outside the classroom, and how are we uh, going to uh, cope up with the, the newest tools which are available, and how we can use it better for making our learning and teaching smarter and better. So uh, to uh, deliver the uh, keynote address. I have uh, with me an eminent speaker uh, who is a uh, well-known industry professional, and he is a respected leader in the uh, education sector. Uh, he is Mr. Venkat Sitaram. He is general manager and leader for education vertical and Dell Technologies India. Uh, welcome, ben Venkat. Thanks for joining us, and we are honored to have you with us. Thank you, and namaste to you. Welcome. Okay. Namaskar, Dr. Ravi. Thank you for having me. Good morning, uh, uh, everyone who is uh, um, live here uh, for this meeting. On behalf of Dell, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all and say thank you. Hope everything is safe and fine. Excellent. Yes, and I have, uh, like, uh, Venkat has a uh, very, very interesting uh, presentation to make about uh, how uh, the smarter uh, campus are going to look like. And uh, I will request Venkat to uh, please start his uh, presentation and uh, give us a uh, lot of uh, new ideas to uh, think about. Venkat, over to you. Thanks, Dr. Let me get started without taking much time. Just give me a few seconds. Dr. Ali, I'll request once again if you can confirm if you can see my screen, my show. Yes, yes, yes. Perfectly fine. Yes. <laughs> Are we good? Yes, yes, yes. Please start. Okay. So, uh, as Dr. Ravi rightly outlined, uh, I think the future of campus is very clearly smart campus. What is driving here is digital. Really exciting today uh, for me to be here with all of you to talk to about what's our unique approach and how Dell Technologies is helping in building smart campuses uh, using digital technologies. So in the next 15 to 20 minutes, what I intend to do is give a perspective on what it takes to build a digital campus. Firstly, I think um, many a times when we talk to customers, we keep hearing mixed feedback on their understanding and their approach towards digital campus. So I thought it would be fair to first share a common perspective that we have collected basis talking to various educational institutions, not just in India, but even at a global scale. So that's the first point that I want to cover. And second, the role of Dell Technologies, obviously what we are doing, and here is an opportunity for, you, for me to give a high level view of what we are doing uh, in this space and helping educational institutions digitally transform. And last but not the least, also leave you with a framework on where to start and how do we approach this journey and what it takes to build a digital campus. I think these are the three simple things that I have uh, today as part of my agenda, I'll keep it very crisp and short uh, so that uh, it's, it's, it's uh, useful. Uh, I'm looking forward to this uh, discussion. With that, let me just get started. Fundamentally, um, the, the Dell Technology Umbrella Company, as you can see here, is a family of uh, businesses encompassing all these logos that you see here. 
what this has done is it has allowed us to bring a very very strong compelling technology portfolio which starts right from the edge goes all the way to core and finally to the cloud so if there was one technology company which can do everything for customer to transform for tomorrow which can kind of stitch all the areas that are essential in, in ingredients today for a digital campus or a digital uh, uh, solution i think i have no doubt in my mind that uh, the companies put, uh, here brings in some very very compelling story the uh, good news is all of these can be wrapped under one umbrella dell technology portfolio and we can deliver this end to end or look at the journey of our customers because we do realize many customers are already in the midst of this digital journey so we can come and plug in these at the at the at the stage that you are in to make sure that you are able to move forward on your journey so that's the flexibility that we bring in so in that sense we we are also very open in, in bringing these technologies to our customer let me quickly uh, give a view of uh, a campus for tomorrow and I'm, i'm sure this is something that is going on in most of our minds how does a campus of tomorrow look like and if you were to imagine something like this you know the first basis is from a student what is causing all this change you know this better than us that it is students who is uh, is pushing boundaries and it is making campuses and faculties think about this big change and as you can see here <laughs> the campus is becoming a place it's it's a place where there is flexibility where there is personalization there is safety most importantly everything is connected you feel that you are far more engaged and there is room for innovation so this makes it an overall ecosystem that makes or feels or allows a student to feel that you are at home you know this kind of a feeling whether in campus or whether not in campus which is the scenario these days last uh, i think one and a half years since pandemic broke out uh, we are seeing work as well as learning getting conducted from home and in an environment like this it's important to you know have all these ingredients where a student feels that this is a campus or or a place that i would like to belong and this is something that when we talk to academicians and education institutions more than often uh, hear from them that how do we imagine a digital campus and i think it is the starting point will be from this and the considerations are about flexibility about being connected about giving a place where student feels everything can be operated efficiently whether in campus whether not in campus or sometimes in campus sometimes not in campus and it also leads a way to bring in innovation and these are very very important ingredients when you were to imagine a digital uh, campus now what it takes to put this first of all and how does uh, you know it lays the foundation for future campus what ingredients to be considered three things capacity connectivity or connectedness as we say and finally security i think these are the three essential infra uh, elements that that kind of lays the foundation for a smart digital campus as you can see here as you can see here your campus encompassing everything right from classrooms to emergency management to internal communications to records to facilitating remote learning all these are connected in a secure platform with the right infrastructure solution and the right mobility that is available so that work can happen from anywhere teaching can happen from anywhere even when you are in the transport you are able to track monitor you are able to set up an emergency room to track what is happening in the building and have a robust communication system by which you are able to even um, collaborate with the ecosystem and i'm going to talk about what that collaboration with the ecosystem is in in my subsequent slides <laughs> a sample of <clears throat> how certain uh, institutions have leveraged this what we hear from them is they have set up an emergency management control room as you can see here and they have built a private lte network so that it allows low latency high speed connectivity security so that data whatever is moving within sits only in that layer it doesn't go back to the core layer so it gets distributed uniformly and as a result you are able to embrace uh, device mobility management easily leverage the power of iot 
integrate all of your uh, content all of your uh, uh, analytics everything done real time and finally deliver a digital curriculum which makes it easy and simple which can expand your business needs as you scale and grow so this is uh, what it is doing and in in the process it's important to build that private lte this is uh, something that we we realize are many players many telecom players today in the in, in the industry who bring these capabilities what it does is it gives high level of security of course it expands the scope of uh, wide area networks virtual networks and of course it brings in a wifi harmony that is important and allows students to bring in their own devices have access have collaboration allows the use of new technology uh, areas like ar vr i'm going to talk a little more about this so it's all about purely mobility learn from anywhere Uh, propels interactive discussions within the campus outside the campus allows faculty to be able to leverage this technology and create an immersive experience to students give specific attention to students focus on individual skills learning skills of students than overall delivery and so on and so forth in the process the institution can look at integrating all of this uh, creating a record a student record or a life cycle record integrating their ERPs, admission processes, placement processes, and so on and so forth. So it's a comprehensive, I would say, system of system that comes together. So to just summarize, there are three key areas that we believe are important for higher education digital transformation. It starts with IoT. So building those smart campuses, allowing research to be fueled through smart campuses, leverage of technology there for building IoT infrastructure. Uh, which is mobility connectivity all that is critical and should be new age needless to say that and of course a lot of research and innovation is happening so use of ai is becoming pertinent across all facets of education system today right from uh, assessments to uh, online content delivery and so on and so forth so how do we create a mechanism of data driven ai uh within the curriculum or within the overall education system last but not the least uh, leverage of the next gen immersive technology ar vr that makes virtual lab experience real uh, use of uh, vdi etc so that you can connect wherever you are with any device and ability to manage that and ability to manage the content ability to create a security when doing assessment or on campus physical security video surveillance and, you know it's a whole yeah, host of things that that you build when you apply this framework so in in summary these are three important frameworks that one need to keep in consideration iot ai data driven analytics engine and last but not the least use of next gen uh, immersive technology and of course the private lte becomes uh, a critical layer to bring all of these pieces together so if one were to get on to the track of realizing the uh, digital campus vision i think it all needs Uh, intelligent system of systems as i just uh, outlined and talked about you need to put host of things together it starts with digital campus where you fundamentally lay out a smart uh, facility management buildings of course surveillance what it does in the process is it enables a command and control room it extends itself to areas like uh, waste management and so on and so forth so foundation leads to digital city in fact we have a very very robust ecosystem of teams along with partnerships in working specifically in building digital cities today we work with a lot of digital uh, cities in even in, in india across uh, various cities not just limiting to cities when you start this as a foundation with digital campus it extends to mobility it, exp- it extends to utilities and services as, as you can see across right from improving citizen services to quality of life you know there are several problems or several improvements that you can address by bringing in digital this further evolves in itself in creating a digital state so the fulcrum of digital campus leads itself into a digital city and then further into a digital state where you can look at national security smart agriculture smart grid which has a impact on the economy so it's it's a combination of i would say intelligent system of systems so it's important to start here and then it can extend itself in terms of connecting to city and eventually states etc so that's where the foundation starts and as you can further see here it's digital at the core so looking at the right technology at each of these elements right infrastructure right software tools right partners who can come and do this will be critical and once you start 
getting to do this you not only improve the quality of education and quality of systems within the uh, academic framework but you also look at you know the community services that you can efficiently improve but i'm bringing a lot of things together including health based management and several other utility services including traffic management and so on and so forth and this is the whole framework of a digital city and the foundation starts from a digital campus uh, that i talked about so every digital journey is unique uh, it's important to get started if not already started i know many of you have already started so if not then it's about starting looking at legacy systems how i can move that to the new modern uh, greenfield systems defining your outcomes it's because every outcome or every institution is different every institution approach is different so looking at what kind of vertical or horizontal solutions that i need to implement and operating models what kind of capex opex can i build a ppp model can i do an asis service by the way in partnership with dell financial services today we offer this as as a service to a lot of customers freeing up their capex so that a lot of capex doesn't get locked into this instead you can use pay as you grow models and start deploying this in a phased manner so it's a it's a comprehensive journey that we engage with our customers from as is state to what should be the ideal end state we define it with you and then start small but looking at scale uh, by uh, complementing with our uh, financial services we make it even more affordable and encouraging for our customers to start so where do you begin the question is at least let's look at solving a specific problem fundamentally it's about campus safety and student innovation can we start there and then see how we can extend to further in terms of other utility services that i talked about look at what are the immediate benefits how does it help connect to the world that is outside not just from an academic perspective but from several other services perspective therefore you create a community and also build a foundation for future projects so that's important start with one or two areas look at benefits define where is the ideal state that you need to go and plan for future projects I'm happy to share that the dell education uh, advisor specialist team can engage with you and help you prepare this framework uh, in a in a in a phased manner and help align with what is right what to decide and where to go etc so that's the uniqueness that we bring in today in the in the industry so way forward uh, look at individual projects so that will uh, build towards a smarter campus and and i can say that we have an extensive partner network and of course combined with our subject matter experience that we have to make this happen you know start from campus services to looking at classroom and bring in those ingredients and looking at digital administration looking at digital curriculum digital student services i think these are areas and then extending it to research then combining that with health transportation and so on and so forth and extending beyond that to the grid and the rest of the other uh, community services that that today caters for a smarter city so once again it's it's uh, it's a it's a combination of all of these uh, under dell technologies umbrella that we are able to bring this together uh, we believe that the journey begins and we are here together to help you thrive in this journey uh, myself and my team members are committed to work with you at any point in time to see how we can uh, help uh, you get started and move uh, in this journey faster uh, that that with that uh, let me conclude my presentation and hand it back to you uh, dr ravi thank you venkat i think it was a uh, very interesting and exciting uh, presentation and lot of uh, questions have uh, come up uh, from the audience and uh, one of the questions which you can I, I actually see on your right is that uh, uh, someone has asked that uh, how can dell solutions help in 360 degree assessment of student virtually so are there, are there any uh, tools available for that absolutely um, you are also going to hear from a couple of our partners subsequently about some of these solutions that we are bringing in together but uh, i must tell you that we have uh, we have a solution that uh, along with our partners at the partners that we have in place where it allows you to look at 360 degree student assessment uh, including proctoring and so on in the current environment so uh, we would like to talk more about it uh, i left my email id so please uh, talk me about it we'll be happy to engage our team sure 
Uh, another uh, question is from Sanjay Dash from SRM University, and he has asked that what all higher education innovations are expected in next five years. Uh, great, question, great question. Great question, Sanjay. Um, immersive experience, especially in India, I think that is going to really peak. A lot of new ways of assessments. In fact, one of the sessions that we're going to talk is we're going to give you innovative ways of conducting examinations and you know doing things differently, assessing students' performance in a in a very different way. A lot of uh, advancements towards uh, industry affiliations are going to increase big time. So we'll see use of all these emerging modern technologies significantly go up in the space of education. Uh, thanks to the ease at which it is available, thanks to the tech ecosystem, and thanks to our partnership with Microsoft and many others today, we are able to bring this uh, sooner than before, uh, and it makes it uh, flexible and easy to use as well. Sure. Okay. And uh, another uh, question, which I think uh, the last one, uh, because we are uh, running out of time, that uh, uh, Mr. Sarvanan from Academy of Maritime Education and Training is asking that, what about students in rural areas? How yeah, can we provide them training about technological advancement in education? I think the proliferation of uh, device and smartphones today, even in rural areas, I think there is uh, an effective medium of getting to them. And through the, the, the connectedness that I talked about and cloud that is available, we can transfer this knowledge to anywhere, anybody today. So let us know a specific uh, uh, you know, area that you are looking at. We would like to see how we can reach out to them in what ways and look at specific curriculum. In fact, the Dell Education Services has built a robust curriculum across all model evolving technologies, uh, be it right from analytics to security to cloud to uh, coding to AI, ML, etc. It spans across a, a very large portfolio uh, which is in uh, future demand, and we can make sure that these contents are available for uh, on demand learning for students anywhere. Uh, we'll be happy to engage with you and share more details. Fine. Uh, excellent, uh, Venkat, and uh, thanks uh, for an excellent uh, presentation and handling uh, the questions. Uh, so uh, we will end uh, this session uh, with you here, and uh, let me uh, uh, present you a uh, token of uh, gratitude from Alex uh, uh, for joining uh, in this exciting, exciting event. Thank you so much. Really appreciate, and uh, thank you for the good gesture. Uh, it means a lot, uh, your token of appreciation, and thank you for uh, the time that you spent. Uh, I hope uh, it was useful and look forward to connect with you all again. Have a wonderful rest of the